Excellent. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is going to be a quick rundown of this system right here and just a notification to you guys out there that I'm actually giving this system away. Uh, so if you're interested, then definitely go down to the link in this video's description and go to the gleam.io page and you can enter to win. It's only on for the next uh, about three days. So bear that in mind, this is going to end on Sunday. Uh, and after that point, I will be drawing a winner. So be sure to check your email. I'm going to be notifying people within 24 hours. And if you don't, or if you don't respond within 24 hours, I'm gonna pick a new winner. Now, originally we actually had two systems to give away, and this was to uh, help promote an event that we held on Saturday, which was an Extra Life charity live stream. For 12 hours, Kyle and I sat right here, played video games, uh, and also we had a bunch of people viewing and a bunch of generous uh, viewers who were actually donating to help support, via Extra Life, the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. And we were able to raise over $10,000, uh, thanks of course to the generous donations of the people who were viewing. At the same time, people who donated were also able to enter to win one of the two systems. We gave away Kyle's system the day of, so that was just for people who were viewing the stream, but this system is available for another three days. So if you're interested, go to the gleam.io entry page. The parts that are in here are an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1900X CPU, that's an eight core 16 thread CPU, an Enermax Liquitech TR4 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, an Azeroc X399 Tai Chi ATX motherboard, a Corsair Vengeance memory kit, and actually um, that's what we're going to need to fix just a second. The Corsair Vengeance memory kit actually isn't installed yet, so uh, more on that in just a sec. Uh, we've got a 240 gig SSD in there. It's listed as a SanDisk here, but just bear in mind that I might actually uh, need to swap that out, but you will get a 250 gig class SSD, a Zotac GeForce GTX 1070 Ti mini graphics card, and a Corsair RM850i 850 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply. In order to enter, all you gotta do is click the link to go over to the uh, charity entry page. And this is still open, by the way, guys. So. Uh, if you are interested, wow, and actually just since last night, we've cracked $11,000. So that's absolutely amazing. We got the $10,000 badge right here. So if you guys wanna donate again, not required by any means for you to enter to win this system, but of course it's greatly appreciated if you happen to do that. Uh, and then you can also get an entry by subscribing to my channel and subscribing to Kyle's channel. Chances are you already subscribed to our channels, but if you're not, just gotta confirm that and you're good to go. So. I'm gonna get the system set up because we actually used it for the live stream. Kai was playing on it. So this is a this has been used only briefly for the charity live stream. I'm gonna clear it out, uh, get it set up for the winner, and then again uh, the memory, which I gotta go pick up at Newegg. Maybe we should do that first, actually. I'll be right back. So we're uh, heading over to Newegg right now, dealing with a little bit of traffic. I am trying to, to split the gap here. So if you order from Newegg, we'll call uh, the day before or the morning of, they'll take your order in from the warehouse and bring it over to the will call place. So it usually gets there around 11 a.m., but the actual email doesn't typically go out until closer to noonish. So I don't have I don't have my will call email, but we're still gonna go over there and see if I don't know if Robert is working the desk. Then maybe maybe he'll just give me my package. I don't know about Robert though. He's so I was trying to pull something. Success. Uh, we tried to get there early, but we were too early, so we had to go get lunch. Uh, we stopped by Jersey Mike's, but memory's here. Only $220 for the 4x4 gig kit right now. It's for charity, though. Success. Here we go. It's amazing what you can buy when you're willing to spend lots of money on overpriced DDR4 memory, but it's okay. Uh, let me get this open and we can inspect to make sure everything is where it should be. Now I'm replacing uh, what's already in this system, which is a G-Skill uh, Trident Z RGB kit, uh, which is a very nice kit. Uh, great compatibility with Ryzen, of course. But honestly, I don't think it goes. I don't think it's the best matchup with everything in here. This is an entry-level Threadripper system, so it's meant to be serious. It's meant to get some work done. And it's, just, it's a little too, colorful and blingy. I like the white LEDs on the Enermax and the Zotac logos for the CPU cooler and the uh, and the graphics card. And then there's just a little bit of a uh, subtle blue LED on the actual ASRock motherboard, and that is RGB, so it could be changed, you know, if necessary. But here we go, the classic Corsair Vengeance kit. Uh, only $220 at Newegg right now. So um, let's get this installed.
Okay guys, a quick aside here and a quick last minute change. Uh, when I went and got the Corsair memory yesterday, I foolishly did not take my own advice and actually look at the memory compatibility list that ASRock has on their site for the X399 Tai Chi. I assumed that that Corsair Vengeance LPX kit would work because I've used it in several other Ryzen situations. However, hasn't been validated on that motherboard and was just given us all kinds of problems when I tried to get it to run 2933. Therefore, and because I promised whoever the winner was going to be to actually be able to run memory at a higher frequency, I went and checked the compatibility list, which I should have done from the get-go, admittedly, and I found that there's a, a G-Skill kit, um, actually, and I discovered this, a G-Skill kit selling for the exact same price, 4x4 four four, uh, gigs of memory, so 16 gigs total, set for quad channel, validated on the ASRock website to work in quad channel as well as OC mode, and it's rated at 3200 speed, rather than 3000. So uh, let me install this real quick and hopefully end this video by verifying that I got the memory running at the right speed. Got it installed just fine and it's looking pretty much the same. Uh, still all black, it does have some stickers on it but I'll leave it up to the winner to decide whether or not they want to take those off. All right, this kit is already playing much nicer when it comes to just initial boot up and, and that kind of thing. Here's the XMP profile for it, DDR4-3200, cast latency 16. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in and then uh, I did a UEFI reset to defaults here so I'm also going to want to change all my fans back to silent mode. Oh look at that, first try. It's promising. So there we go, our 1900X and memory speed 1599. There we go, so double that, that's 3200, cast latency 16, memory is working. I already confirmed that this system works just fine with uh, 3200 speed memory since Kyle played with 3200 speed memory all day on Saturday, so I think we're good to go. So this is very good news for me because uh, it means the system's working even better, even better than originally planned. So apart from swapping out that G-Skill memory with the Corsair kit, everything is exactly the same. The system's already been tested and functional uh, since Kyle played on it for eight hours uh, during the live stream on Saturday, so we're good to go. Guys, again, if you haven't entered, uh, click the link down in the description and get entered. Uh, just need to go to the entry page. Again, you don't need to donate, but you can. You're welcome to. Uh, and then subscribe to my channel and Kyle's channel if you uh, want some more entries there as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Happy 2017. Looking forward to bringing you more content in 2018 coming very soon with my CES coverage. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you soon.